السلام علیکم ون پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دی نیوز ریڈ پر میویم خان فزدی ہیڈ لائنز President says Turkey is an important friend of Pakistan, which has always supported us on all issues, including Kashmir. Prime Minister inaugurates Pakistan citizen portal in Islamabad today. Chairman All Parties Huryat Conference says Indian Army is involved in serious war crimes in occupied Kashmir. Final of Asian Hockey Champions a trophy will be played between Pakistan and India in Muscat tonight. And now the news in detail. President Dr. Arif Alvi departed on a three-day visit to Turkey this morning on invitation of his Turkish counterpart Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Talking to newsmen at Islamabad airport prior to his departure, the president says Turkey is an important friend of Pakistan, which has always supported us on all issues, including Kashmir. Dr. Arif Alvi said Pakistan is grateful to Saudi Arabia for providing financial assistance to overcome economic crisis. During his stay in Turkey, the president will address the inaugural ceremony of new international airport of Istanbul. President and Prime Ministers of several other countries will also participate in the ceremony. Pursuing the government's ongoing austerity drive, the President opted to travel through the commercial flight. Settling aside the protocol, the President himself got his luggage security screened and went through the immigration process after waiting his turn in the queue. Prime Minister Imran Khan inaugurates a Pakistan citizen a portal today. Pakistan Citizen Portal has been set up at the Prime Minister's office with an aim to timely address the problems of the people and get back their feedback. The portal will be used to send complaints and suggestions to the Prime Minister's office directly. The Prime Minister's office will oversee the process of addressing the public complaints and implementation on recommendations. The announcement of registering the complaints will be made with the inauguration. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says creation of a South Punjab province is necessity which cannot be ignored. Talking to a newsman in Multan today, he said the establishing a separate province in South Punjab is a part of PTI's manifesto. The Prime Minister said a committee has been set up on the issue to develop the political consensus as no single party is in the position to bring the constitutional amendment to pave the way for the creation of the South Punjab province. At the United Nations, Pakistan has reiterated its commitment to valiant a struggle of Kashmiri people for the UN recognized right of self determination is a firm and long lasting. Speaking at meeting held at Pakistan House to mark the 71st anniversary of India's massive invasion and occupation of Kashmir known as Black Day, Ambassador Malia Lodi said Pakistan will continue to extend diplomatic, moral, and political support to their legitimate cause. The envoy, while denouncing the large-scale brutalities being unleashed by the Indian security forces in occupied Kashmir, said every day of Indian occupation is a black day. Chairman of All Parties Huriyat Conference, uh, Conference Sayyid Ali Gilani says Indian Army is involved in serious war crimes in occupied Kashmir. In a message to participants of the conference organized by the Pakistani American Society of the New York, he said human rights violation in Kashmir, perpetrated by the Indian Army with the legal immunity, has provoked the international humanitarian action in other international disputes. Sayyid Ali Gilani demanded an inquiry into these war crimes by the neutral agency like the United Nations. Turkey, Russia, Germany and France have urged to set up a constitutional committee on Syria for free and their fair elections in the war-torn country. In a joint statement in Istanbul following Syria's summit and leaders called on international community, particularly the UN and its humanitarian agencies, to increase their assistance to Syria. The leader expressed their support for an inclusive Syrian-led and Syrian-owned political progress uh, facilitated by the United Nations. The statement also underlined the need to assure the safe and unhindered access of aid groups throughout the Syria and immediate humanitarian access for the Syrian people. In Yemen, dozen, a dozen of Hausi militants have been killed in Arab coalition airstrikes that targeted a training camp in suburb of Sana'a city. In Mali, two UN peacemakers have been killed and several others injured in an attack on United Nations base in the northern Timbuktu region. 
In a statement, the head of the mission, Mahatmat Saleh Anadif, condemned the attack and called for the arrest and prosecutions of the attackers. Final of Asian Hockey Champions Trophy will be played between Pakistan and India in Muscat, while the third T20 cricket match between Pakistan and Australia will be played at Dubai tonight. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.